is Reverend Joel Luptograph, 340 North Street, Daytona Beach, Florida, 32114, President of United Samaritans ULC and member of the Justice for Homeless Committee. I'm going over what I went over with the uh, City Commission meeting tonight, and I'm going to repeat it the way I said it in front of the Commission. That I was at City Island earlier today, and they have signs up that says, Rental space only, no trespassing, city ordinance 29.77, and this is at the pavilion. And when I went to make sure that I had the right ordinance, three police officers were there, and I was confronted by one who says uh, that it's no trespassing. I told him I was only trying to get the ordinance right, make sure I had the right ordinance. He said the ordinance doesn't matter, there's no trespassing. So I'm reminded of an incident in June 1964 when victims Andrew Goodman, Michael Schwerner and James Cheney were abducted and murdered by the Neshoba County Mississippi Sheriff deputies that were members of the White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. After the state refused to prosecute in 1967, the U.S. federal government charged 18 individuals with civil rights violations. Seven were convicted and sentences ranged from three to ten years. The point I'm trying to make is that it's a federal crime to violate someone's civil rights in the United States. Daytona Beach City workers recently put up signs in the pavilion on City Island stating, rental use only, no trespassing, City Ordinance 29.77. I've been unable to find this ordinance in the Daytona Beach Muni Code, so I'm doubtful that it exists. And if it does exist, it was passed without proper notification to the public in violation of Florida's Sunshine Law. It is to be noted that a number of us have been spending our days under this pavilion for several years grandfathering this supposed ordinance in the first place. This pavilion is in a public park. Public parks are run by the government, such as City Island Park, is free to anyone. Restricting certain areas of the park by social status is a violation of civil rights, and we, the community, wish to know who is responsible for the supposed ordinance as they are subject to criminal charges on the federal level. DBPD needs to be informed that this is not 1942. There are no concentration camps in the USA. This is not Nazi Germany. They are not the Gestapo, and if any officers are members of the White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, they do not belong on our police force. And that's from Reverend Joel Updegraff. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Reverend Joel Updegraff, 340 North Street, Daytona Beach, Florida, 32114. President of the United Samaritan Universal Life Church, member of the Justice for Homeless Community. I was uh, at City Island earlier today. And they have a sign posted up that says no trespassing, city ordinance 29.77. As I was walking up just to make sure I had the ordinance right, three police officers were there. One said, hey, that's no trespassing. I said, excuse me, I'm just looking at the ordinance. I just want to make sure I got the ordinance right. It doesn't matter what the ordinance says. It says no trespassing. So I'm reminded of an incident in June 1964 when victims Andrew Goodman, Michael Schwerner, and James Cheney were <coughs> murdered by the Neshoba County Mississippi Sheriff deputies that were members of the local White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. After the state refused to prosecute in 1967, the U.S. federal government charged 18 individuals with civil rights violations. Seven were convicted and sentences ranged from three to 10 years. The point I'm trying to make is it's a federal crime to violate someone's civil rights in the United States. That's right. Daytona Beach City workers recently put up signs at the pavilion on City Island stating rental use only, no trespassing, City Ordinance 29.77. I've been unable to find this ordinance in Daytona Beach Muni Code, so I'm doubtful if it exists. If it does exist, it was passed without proper notification to the public in violation of Florida's Sunshine Law. It has to be noted a number of us have been spending our days under this pavilion for several years grandfathering the supposed ordinance in the first place. This pavilion is in a public park. Public parks run by the government, such as City Island Park, is free to everyone. Restricting certain areas of the park by social status is a violation of civil rights, and we, the community, wish to know who is responsible for the supposed ordinance as they're subject to criminal charges on the federal level. DBPD needs to be informed that this is not 1942. There are no concentration camps in the USA. This is not Nazi Germany. They are not the Gestapo. And if any officers are members of the White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, they do not belong in our police force. Huh?